so good morning all of you uh, i am my name is dr sandeep saxena i am started a session of on permission blockchain before starting the permission blockchain i am to discuss about the what is a blockchain you have multiple session attended the multiple sessions on the this uh, particular events so you know very well about the blockchain but before starting i am int uh, introduce uh, de define some basic uh, definition of the blockchain a blockchain basically immutable transaction ledgers maintained within a distributed network of uh, peer nodes these node each maintain a copy of ledger by applying transaction that has been validated by a consensus protocol grouped into their blocks that include a hash that third and that bind each blocks to a preceding block so blockchain basically comes into the picture when we uh, uh, previously there is because of if we uh, discuss about the centralized system because blockchain is basically a distributed system in a centralized system a major problem is that there is called the single point of failures if your single point of failures means if your server is failed then no one can doing any process or uh, making any transaction in that particular network so that's come into the blockchain is a next one that is a distributed ledger uh, distributed uh, system has been used second one is there is immutable no one can be able to change the previous transactions as we have multiple uh, research uh, multiple persons have been discussed there is be a blockchain basically a chain of blocks every block it connected to the previous blocks so every new block can be created with the help of previous uh, block hash value that is called as a chain 256 we will used for connecting a new block into the blockchain so there is never be a change in a previous transactions so uh, no one can be changed the uh, data in a blockchain system but in a blockchain system and like a bitcoin if there is a public uh, there is called the unrestricted uh, blockchain system is there so anyone can be join that particular uh, blockchain without uh, disclose their identity any anonymous user is also join the blockchain uh, are the join the bitcoin system in bitcoin system there is no uh, uh, transaction has been monitored or if any transaction has been done so you are never be identify which person will be make that particular transaction so whenever we are going to be implement in our uh, uh, society or the real time systems like uh, uh, hospitals or some other places or blockchain so there is a big problem that how to identify a user so that's why we are going to the new architecture of the blockchain that is called the permission blockchain so in a enterprise use we need a consider the following requirement in a blockchain then only we can used in this particular blockchain technology in our real time systems like participant must be identify and identifiable so whenever any users or the participant join the blockchain system then must be identified so we can easily can monitor or supervise the activities of that particular user second one network need to be permission network need to be permission means then network can be allowed to join any identifiable persons only not the any anonymous user can be join this particular network when you disclose your identity and network can be identify your identity then only network admin can be provide uh, provide you the permission to join that particular network otherwise no one anonymous user can be join this particular network high transaction throughput performance we can increase the number of users low latency of the transaction confirmation and last one is major is privacy and confidentiality of transaction and data pertaining to a business transaction if any private organization can be implement the blockchain so they need to be that particular privacy and confidentiality of the data of that particular network must to be maintained otherwise that particular network is not useful for that particular organization so one 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 more thing is there is hyperledger fabric hyperledger fabric is a, an open source enterprise grade permission distributed ledger technology hyperledger technology is also hyperledger fabric is also the one of the permission block example of permission blockchain then there so hyperledger fabric is one of the open source enterprise grade it's a basically a open source uh, blockchain system 
it is designed for the enterprise context are used for the enterprise per users that can be implemented in their own organization Travic has a highly modular and the configurable architecture enable innovation, versatility, optimization for a broad range of industry use cases, including the banking system. You can use the hyperledger fabric, finance industry, insurance, healthcare system, human resource and supplier supply chain, and even digital music delivery. Uh, music uh, industry can also use the hyperledger fabric. This fabric is the first distributed ledger which can be include the smart contract in smart contract other in the general purpose of programming language such as Java, Go and Node.js rather than the considered domain specific languages. Fabric platform is also the permission meaning that the unlike a public or the permissionless blockchain network system or blockchain systems and participation uh, participants are known to each other rather than the anonymous are uh, therefore fully untrusted network has been developed so in a permission network uh, the hyperledger fabric system only the trusted user are the uh, uh, allowed by the network that is called the uh, identifiable user can be joined this particular network this means that while the participant participant may not be fully trust one another the network can be operated under a governance model. If there is a, no user can be trust on each other, then we can say this uh, network can be moved to the under the government's model and is built off the what the trust does not exist in the participants. The, at the high level, fabric is a compromised on the following uh, modular components. Their uh, hyperledger fabric is having some of the components. Is, First one call, call the pluggable ordering services. Is ordering service basically established for the consciousness on the order of the transactions and the other block cost block to the peers. Ordering service basically uh, uh, provide the services of the transaction is a particular ordered can be executed and that is used in. Next one is called the pluggable membership services provider is uh, responsible for associating entities in the network. Your slides, I think, not running. No, still you are in hyperledger fabric. Yeah, now it's okay. You move. And while you are moving, I think it is not uh, happening. So I, I can uh, use the without the uh, presentation mode, sir. Okay. Uh, so because but... if I go to the presentation mode, then the next slide is not visible at that time. Okay, uh, but what happening is that the slides are not moving. Yes, yes, in presentation mode, slide is not moving. Uh, but now also, when you I told you know, that time only it's, you are again, let, let, continue, sir. Let's check. Let me check that. So, we have discussed about the pluggable ordering system in a hyperledger fabric. We come to the architecture model basically. This is called the, this is one of the fabric. Hyperledger fabric architecture model in which client applications has been uh, located at this particular and there is SDK system well being available. External CME certificate authority, external certificate authority can be identify a particular user. And then the next one is called the membership services. When you are entered into the hyperledger fabric network, then membership services can identify that particular user and they are having some members and next one called the fabric ca fabric ca means the fabric certificate authority and there is admin whenever any user can be insert to the enter into the hyperledger fabric system there is indoors there is peer system there is a particular ordering service has been made in which a particular whatever transaction you have made in the hyperledger fabric network that can be uh, used a particular order of the execution of that particular transaction after executing of ordering services that committer had been be implemented the commit that particular transactions there is multiple ledgers ledgers there is a multiple uh, various of the nodes is available in the blockchain and every block having their ledger system that is called the database one such type of database system in which you, uh, that that ledger having the complete all the history transactions have been made in that particular blockchain second one called the chain code chain code basically a smart contract concept that has been implemented in the hyperledger fabric system and whatever events has been committed and ordered in a proper way 
and committed that event has been executed to the next node. The node, there is various type of nodes is available as you have seen in the previous slides. So there is node is called the committing peers, maintains the ledger and the state. Ledger means a database that has been uh, stored in a particular node. So maintain the ledger and the state. Commit transactions may hold some smart contract. A smart contract named as a chain code. Endorsing pairs, specialized committing peers that receive a transaction proposals for endorsement and respond granting or denying that is endorsement must hold the smart contract. Whenever you have any uh, implement proposal that has been forwarded to the endorsing. Next one is called the ordering node. Uh, ordering node approves the inclusion of the transaction blocks into the lasers first and communicates and committing that endorsing pairs node. Does not hold the smart contact, does not hold the lasers. Is only the ordering of the transaction process on which your uh, particular smart contact has been executed. So in this particular uh, happy laser fabric architecture, there is first step is called the proposed transaction. So transaction has been proposed. That is called the application proposal transaction. Client has been proposed the E1, E0, E2. So this is called the endorsement policy. E0, E1, and E2 must signed by the P3 and P4 is to the node or the participant in this particular uh, network. Client application submit a transaction proposal for the smart contact that is called A and it must be target the required peers. Peers, required peers mean that is E0, E1, E2 has been, uh, this is called the acceptor. The client is a proposer and E0, E1, E2 is called the acceptor which is received the particular proposal from the client. So this is endorser and whatever the <coughs> committing peers basically a commit the proposer if proposer is uh, satisfied or uh, verified properly then that proposal has been accepted or committed an ordering note can be ordered this particular uh, proposal next one is called the execute the proposal transaction when the client has been proposed a proposal then uh, that proposal has been the transaction has been no need to be executed so e0 e1 e2 will each execute the proposed transaction none of these execution will be update the ledger laser it will not be updated till the proposal has been verified each execution will be captured a set of read and written data as, it, as the com, uh, committing of the transaction has in the called the read write sets which can now flow in the uh, flow in the fabric and transaction can be signed and encrypted then the these endorsers can be uh, signed that particular proposal and encrypted we may forward to the next node. Next one is called the proposal response. When this proposal has been read by the endorsers uh, of the read write set, then the response has been sent to the particular proposal. That is called the proposal response. Next one is ordering of transactions means when the particular transactions or the proposal has been approved and um, that is it has been accepted by the endorser then that particular transaction will be executed then execution of that particular transactions uh, the proposal must be in proper order set so there is a one sequencing ordering of the execution of that particular proposal that maintain the ordering services will be uh, maintain the order of execution of that particular proposal. So applicants submit to the responses as a transactions to be ordered and ordering happens across the fabric in the parallel with the transaction submitted by the other application. So at the same moment that uh, other applications are the other clients can, can be submitted their proposal to the endorser and parallelly the uh, which proposal has been accepted by the endorser that would going to the submitted to the ordering services and that ordering services will be uh, executed the transactions in a proper order by uh, selecting <coughs> by the ordering services then next uh, when the ordering services are ordered yeah the transaction has been executed ordering delivered to the committing peers the ordering service collect the transaction into a proposals proposed blocks for distribution to the committing peers then that exit transaction has been executed. Peers can be delivered to the other peers in a hierarchical order. Then different ordering algorithm can be available in for the implementing the ordering service. 
so that is called the delivery of the transition to a particular node that include the endorser e0 e1 e2 including the power of uh, pa nodes that is called a p3 and p4 when uh, a transaction has been executed and validated validate the transaction uh, in a proper way then that transaction will be included into the lasers every committing peers validate against the endorsement policy what uh, uh, the has been implemented also check the read write sets are still valid for the current word state or not validate the transaction are applied to the word state and retain in the laser invalid transaction also retain the laser but do not update the word state it means when the <coughs> execute that particular transaction then that transaction will be included into the laser then next one is called the notifying transaction notifying transaction basically when transaction has been validated and committed to the lasers then notify to the each individual uh, endorser as well as the peers that a transaction has been uh, no, validated application can register to be notified when the transaction success or fail is happening when the blocks are added to the lasers application will be notified by each peer to which they are connected so when the applications by uh, submitted by the client that is proposal and proposal has been uh, properly uh, read it out and accepted by the endorser then revert to the response to the application uh, uh, client then client will submit that particular proposal or the list of transaction to the ordering services when ordering service can be executed that particular transaction then notify to the each connected peers like e0 endorsers and the peers and that peers has been validated and included that particular transaction into the uh, their ledger services then notify the transaction to the application that your transaction has been executed by the network so this is called the hyperledger fabric system then with the hyperledger fabric system basically an open platform then every user can be identified first then a user has been identified then there is a proposal to for executing any any transactions if transaction is executed then add it to the laser services so there is a permission and permissionless blockchain minor difference is there in permission blockchain virtually anyone can be participated without disclosing their identity and every uh, participant in a context of there can be no trust to each other because of <clears throat> no participant can be known to each other everyone having their own uh, anonymous identity is there so in order to mitigate the absence of the trust there is no trust and permission less blockchain is implemented typically employer mind a native cryptocurrency transaction fee should be economically in incentives to offset the extraordinary cost for a particular form of bungentine fault tolerance concept that is called the proof of work proof of work basically uh, nothing just uh, you have to work for proving that you are having right to mine some blocks in that particular blockchain when you do some work in a blockchain then only you can add a new block into the blockchain system so work has been a uh, difficulty level of the work has been uh, designed that if whenever the new block has been added to the blockchain system then the admin of the blockchain uh, system can we design some of the uh, puzzles that is called the puzzle puzzle has been designed that when whenever the any uh, miners can be used to add new block into the blockchain they have to solve that particular puzzle puzzle is na uh, is a simply just like uh, for example whenever you have the creating any uh, whenever you have added a new block in a blockchain then you have to create the hash function of that particular block then only you can use the, to add that particular block so you, we have to set out the particular work just like uh, you have to create a block has function of the block just like uh, you have again the number of zeros you have set out that the last uh, 10 number of zero must be there has value then only the new block has been attached to a particular previous blockchain system so uh, miners uh, are the proof of work in in which the every users just try to generate a particular pattern of the hash function x value then only the new block has been added into the blockchain 
so there is difficulty here label has been uh, designed so so the, when you proof the you, when you do that particular work then you have proof the proof of work has been completed then you are able to add a new block into the previous blockchain system otherwise you are not able to add that particular block there is proof of work has been set said that that is method is called the proof of work next one is called the permission blockchain on the other hand operate to a blockchain among us the set of known in which a blockchain system every node has been known and identifiable the participants all the participant has been identifiable in this particular network so degree of trust has been increases in this permission blockchain system so every user is known known uh, by the network are identified by the network so trust and no their trust value is high as compared to the permissionless blockchain a permission blockchain provide a way to secure the interaction among the group of entities that have been common goal but have maybe uh, not fully trust to each other common goals mean there is maybe a uh, some uh, like a uh, stock uh, stock market so whatever the user has been added that particular blockchain so every user have a unique goal to uh, apply use the stock market uh, if you are saying that there is a mutual fund or the, some share market then there is group of uh, users has joined this particular blockchain having a same goal same goal of that particular system they are apply the and use the money in the blockchain system or some other places so goal of the particular user a particular participant in this particular blockchain system is common in a permission blockchain system and next one by relying on the identity of the participant a permission blockchain can use more traditional class fault tolerance or the bungentine fault tolerance in this particular system and permission model uh, the permission blockchain is called permission blockchain architecture where user are authenticated a priori a priori means whenever the user can join this particular blockchain they have they must be authenticated by the network user known to each other whatever the user is joined in this particular network they are known to each other however the user may not trust each other security and consensus are still required we have to use some consensus algorithm in this particular model also to remove we can run the blockchain among known and identifiable participants so because in permission blockchain model every node <clears throat> node is identifiable next one is a uh, permission blockchain applications permission blockchain applications has been used the various uh, areas like tracking the origin of the movement of the high value items you have uh, send one shipment to one place to another place so you can use the permission blockchain system such as luxury goods or the pharmaceuticals uh, uh, products has been moved from one place to another cosmetics or the electronics item has been moved so in this particular chain or supply chain system you can also use the permission blockchain application system when the high value of item is created a corresponding digital token is issued by the trusted entity which act as an authenticated its point of origin whenever uh, one item is play move from one place to another place so that uh, particular method has been used so then there is no one attacker has been modified the tracking uh, or modified the track record of any goods so that's why uh, permission blockchain is much more useful in this particular tracking system every time the physical item charge hand and digital token is moved in a parallel the real world change of custody is precisely mirrored by the chain of transaction on the blockchain a token token is basically acting as a virtual uh, like a certificate of authority if uh, th there is a certificate of authentic authenticity means that particular user is authenticated and that can be used a particular blockchain system to add new transaction that particular item uh, states are the that uh, use the finite number of states has been used, which is of hard, harder to steal or false than the piece of paper there is a use case like uh, if you are asking about the discuss about the permission blockchain so there is a example a use case of the permission blockchain a particular interesting for business application we can use the execute the contract among the close set of participants 
so there is a supplier one supplier and that goods can be uh, transferred to the distributor from distributor to vendor and from vendor to a particular market has been sent the particular goods provenance of the tracking of the assets so for uh, implementing the permission blockchain there is one concept that uh, we discuss uh, that, that is called the smart contract a smart contract is, uh, is simply a self executing contract in which the terms of agreement between the buyers and the seller is directly written into the line of code as uh, simply we can use the agreement between the two parties in a hard copy there is some term and condition has been written and both the parties are agreed on that particular term and conditions then that agreement is signed by the uh, both the parties that is uh, physical but in a case of uh, digital transaction and the digital process so we can use the smart contract the smart contract basically uh, that uh, agreement between agreement terms within the both the parties and both the parties must be agreed on that particular term and condition are the agreement points then it, it can be implemented uh, written in a line, line of codes so this, this is called the smart contract like a previous example like a bitcoin bitcoin is a one of the example of the one of the blockchain one of the example of the blockchain uh, concepts so that a big uh, bitcoin script you can change the script by the control how the money that are transferred to someone can be spent further so it means there is a double spending method has been used in the block a bitcoin system but so <clears throat> we can use uh, your friend can be used that money immediately or you can your friend can be used the money after two months then a smart contract basically uh, uh, that can be extended to a script that can be extended to a script to ensure that a smart contract is execution like uh, execute a transaction only when the certain condition is satisfied when certain condition has been met then only the transaction has been satisfied that that condition is called the smart contract so that condition has been checked by the smart contract then that condition is satisfied then only the particular transaction has been processed like as uh, seller and buyer there is some exchange or uh, some condition term and conditions there so a smart contract they basically a line of code that can be verified that that particular condition uh, similar are the match with the buyer and the seller then only the your transaction whatever transaction you want to process that can only be proceed or the executed that when the particular certain condition has been satisfied so certain condition whatever the conditions is that is checked by the smart contract there is some design limitations are there executing the execution means execute the transition sequentially based on the consensus the consensus means there is some order of the execution of the transaction first you have to check the conditions now that when that condition has been met then you will initiate the transaction to start the execution of that particular transaction so this is called a request to the application that is called the smart contact or ordered by the consensus as the previous architecture you have we have seen in the previous architecture there is one ordering services so that ordering service is used to implement or helpful for uh, the check the implement the smart contact that ordering service must be met first check the required condition when that condition has been met then the particular transaction is going on to be executed if that condition is not met then transaction will not be executed so that is called the implementation of smart contract and this give a bound on the effective throughput throughput is irreversible proportional it can be possible attack on the smart contract platform maybe uh, they introduce the contract which will be take long time to execute so we have to write a uh, smart content in such a way or the in the language that can be taken the very small uh, amount of time for execution before starting off any transactions then the uh, execution of on all known whatever the smart contract you have written that must be executed on, on the all the nodes or the or every nodes which are participant on on that particular transaction however whatever the node is involved in that particular transaction that every, on every node that particular smart contract must be executed generally execute a smart contract at the all node and propagate the state to the others <clears throat> so that we will reach to the consensus uh, position consensus means then every node must be satisfied or the agreed on the same 
situation at same time of conditions. Consistency is propagate same state to the all the nodes, verify that state is matched. If state is matched, then that particular transaction has been proceeded. <coughs> do you have sufficient uh, do you have sufficient number of trusted node to validate the execution of the smart contract? In execution of the smart contract means there are various number of nodes are there. So whenever your, your smart contract is uh, going to be executed, then there is number of uh, trusted uh, sufficient number of nodes must be there so that that particular transaction has been proceeded. Like uh, this is one of the example to uh, execution of the smart contract and each node. So there is a, you have seen there is a particular blockchain system like uh, there is number of nodes are there and not necessarily always we just need a state of synchronization across all the nodes. So <clears throat> this is a particular smart blockchain network and there is a one node which is going uh, try to be execute the smart contract. They start to execute the contract. So that execute may be uh, uh, distributed to each and every nodes. Either we just need a synchronized all the state, other sent to the all the node, or we can execute this particular transaction uh, contract on a particular node, and that will be propagate the particular state to the other node. So this is a broad broadcast state means that particular contract smart contract has been broadcast to each and every node. So every node is having that particular contract. And uh, this particular what if the node is execute the contract is faulty. It may be there. There what is going to be execute that particular smart contract may be a faulty. So it's will create a, a problem in our blockchain system. So. Uh, you we use the use the state machine replication the state machine replication may execute the contract at a subset of a nodes and ensure that the same state is propagated to the all the other nodes so we have uh, sent that particular smart contract to the other node and we execute the smart contract on a subset of a node whatever the node is available in your blockchain system so there is some set of nodes is execute that particular smart contract after executing a smart contract whatever the state machine finite states has been set out that same state can be propagated to the all the other nodes so state machine replica means there is a, some state machine state machine set of states is there so there is state is a s1 is a state and s2 is a state and s3 is a state s1 is an initial state and s3 is called the final state so there is number of inputs are there. There is a number of input is I and number of output is zero. So transaction function is uh, basically a uh, use that yeah, if any state having particular input, then there is some next state has been assigned. And there, there as far as sim, uh, simply you can see in this particular uh, diagram that if we give the S1 as input is zero, then next state is S2. If we give the input is one, then next state is S1. Similarly, on the state of S2, there if we give the input is S1, there is next state is S3. But if we give the input is 0 on S2, that next state is <coughs> S1. So from initial state to final state, we reach when we have from S1, we can give the input 0 and S2 can give the input 1. So 0, 1 uh, input is can be moved to the initial state to the final state. So smart contact state machine basically a crowd uh, funding process that is some initial job initial job means bob transferred the uh, committed money and alice transferred the committed money to the another so there is a transformation of the money so their next state is called the bob donated bob donated means bob is uh, transfer the money and next one state is called the alice donated Alice donated means Alice is uh, perform the transactions. So money is available means Alice transferred the committed money to the uh, particular money is available and Bob transferred the committed money is called the money is available. Means all the both the money has been collected at the particular node that is called the money available. <coughs> 
so there is two jobs has need to be executed one is for the bob is want to transfer the money that is called job one and Alice is want to transfer the money that is called job two so then job one has been done means job one is completed means uh, your uh, bob uh, money has been transferred and another uh, arrow is representing that the job two is done job two complete means uh, Alice uh, transfer money has been complete trans transferred the money so when both the job one and job two is completed then only the money is transferred is it transferred the money when both the job has been executed so that is called the state machine whenever the state machine means there is some input and there is some next state according to that particular input next one is distributed state machine replications place the copies of the state on the multiple independent server in a blockchain system it may be a, there is multiple ledgers you can say ledgers can uh, store the <coughs> all the previous transaction on the state machine so there is this, a particular state machine has been uh, designed there's a node is s2 s1 s2 s3 and s4 then every uh, laser state has, must be same because then only that uh, there is no ambiguity has been generated. Next one is receive the client request as an input to the state machine means there is a, a, a client want to do some transactions in that particular state. So state must be changed when laser state is changed when a particular new transaction has been executed and whenever the state is changed that change state must be pro propagated or the broadcast to the other particular servers or the node must be there so every copies of the state machine must be same on each node then that particular state has been uh, propagate the input to the all the other servers then whatever the input is given by the, the two two clients bob and alice then particular input must be propagate or the broadcast to the other server basis of that particular uh, inputs order the input is based on the some ordering algorithm has been implemented ordering algorithm means which transaction has been executed first in this you can see that the alice and bob uh, bob execution first and alice execution is second so ordering of service means every node must be executed that uh, order the order must be followed by the every uh, server uh, then only the transition state must be seen if order is changed then order uh, state must be in mismatch to each and other nodes so order the input based on the sum ordering algorithm has been implemented and execute the input based on the order decided so whatever order has been decided by the ordering algorithm according to that order the transaction has been processed so every individual node uh, individually at each node ordered the transaction and that trans uh, ordering must be same on each particular node so synchronize the state machine across the server to avoid any failures means that whatever change has been made in a particular system or the particular server that be broadcast to the other devices also and whenever transaction has been executed then the input a response to send to the applicant if output state is uh, produced inform the client about the output so whenever input has been given uh, from the multiple uh, users then that input uh, users can be executed in a proper order in that order after executing the ordering service or the in a proper order of that particular transaction has been made then response must be sent to the users. In between, if you are having any doubt or other questions, then you can ask. Next is, is called permission blockchain and the state machine. Why we use the state machine replications in the permission blockchain? So there is a natural reason to use the state machine replication based on the consensus over the permission blockchain. So, a concession means every uh, node or the every server must be agreed on a particular same 
set of agreement or same situation, then only we can say the concession has been met by the each and every node. The network is closed. The node known to each other, so state replication is possible among the known nodes. So we can execute a particular smart contract, or the particular ordering of the transaction can be implemented in a permission blockchain. To avoiding the overhead of mining, as in the previous permissionless blockchain, there is we have performed the mining process. In a mining process, there is a various type of work has been done like a proof of work in proof of work uh, every user have to, have to do some work to prove that they are uh, proofing the, their proof so that only that particular new node has been uh, added in the blockchain so there is a uh, some proof of stack stack proof of stack means there is an amount of stack must be higher which node is having the higher stack of the amount are the you can say bitcoin then only that particular node has been having <coughs> right to perform the mining otherwise that particular uh, mining will not be performed by the normal users and then one more thing is uh, used in that particular uh, mining process that is called the proof of one proof of one means how which user is able to burn the uh, uh, coins so when the higher coin has been burned by the users, then only that particular user can be add a new block into the previous uh, blockchain system. So in the with the, with the help of state machine replication, we avoid the overhead of mining. Do not need to spend anything, anything like a power, time, and Bitcoin. Power means proof of work. Whenever the user having the high computation system, then only user can be solved that particular puzzle. And when the user uh, miner can be solved that particular puzzle, then only he can add a new block into the blockchain. Second one is a proof of stack. When the user having the amount of Bitcoin is higher, then only he is on that person that node is only having right to add a new block into the blockchain. Next is called the, that is called the Bitcoin. Bitcoin means when users can be burned a uh, number of coin, a digital coin, then only that is called the proof of burn. So then only they can add the new block into the blockchain. So for adding a new block or the new transaction in the blockchain, we have to, uh, this is an overhead. You can say that it increase the difficulty level in a normal uh, avoid uh, uh, of mining process other than the messaging pricing. In this particular permission blockchain, we need, need not to use the mining or the use overhead of mining, we will not be used. So it's a simply can be done with the help of message passing method. <coughs> we can pass, do not to spend anything other than the message passing. We simply passing the message. It's the, um, like a um, state machine replica from one node to another node. And basis of that, we can perform the transaction has been processed. Next, we call the however concession is still required. Concession is still required because of whatever uh, nodes is available in the permission blockchain or the permission blockchain that must be agreed on the same, uh, same, same concern, same transaction must be agreed. Machine can be faulty or the behave maliciously, so concession must be required. It may be a <clears throat> there is a single, there is a multiple machines or the multiple nodes are there. So concession means the single uh, machine can be independently process a particular transaction. So it may be that particular node has been faulty and that transaction is not uh, honest transaction. It may be a wrong transaction or the, some attacker can be used that particular transaction. So for that the particular um, attacking node is, is there in the permission net blockchain. So attacker can, a single node can be process any transaction. So there is need to be the consensus of the <clears throat> required is still requirement the concession in the permission blockchain but mining is overhead can be reduced in the permission blockchain we can easily can be process the mining or the adding of new block with the help of message passing mechanism why consensus distributed consensus is there there is one decision maker means there is only one node in the network so no consensus is re required so there is only single decision maker so you can process the 
the particular transaction has been executed or not executed but if there is a multiple node as there and every node having the same right like a distributed system in a bitcoin every node is both or the every node can be both that particular transaction is valid it uh, that can be executed or not executed so there is decision multiple decisions maker are there so concession is required because there are a various number of nodes multiple number of nodes are there why distributed concession is required reaching the agreement in distributed computing as the distributed computing process we also use the agreement that every most of the nodes are agreed on the particular transaction then that transaction has been processed if the number of not the sufficient number of nodes is agreed on the particular process or the particular transaction then that transaction will not be proceed so <coughs> there must be concern or the concern must be taken from each and node available in the blockchain then only we can use the distributed consensus replica of common state so that all the process have the same view whenever new up transaction has been updated a uh, new block has been added into a laser then that laser copy must be broadcasted uh, that copy must uh, is distributed to each and every pair of the node in a blockchain system so every uh, node is having the same copy of the previous transactions so same view of the transaction same view every node having the same view if uh, for example if a user a having the balance of 100 rupees and they spend the 15 50 rupees to transfer a from a to b then their uh, next balance is called a is having the amount is only 50 then in this this particular transaction is a uh, information has been broadcasted to each and every nodes so when an uh, e is want to be transferred like uh, more than 50 rupees from one node to uh, a to c so like uh, if a is try to make the transaction of 70 from a to c <coughs> at that particular time every node having the information that the a already transferred the 50 and is balance is only the 50 rupees it's so every node can be denied that this transaction is not possible because a node a is not having the sufficient amount to transfer the amount to a node, node a to node c then the, every node is having the same view so this will not be possible in the particular consciousness uh, algorithm will be implemented like application like the distributed concession is like a flight control system uh, fund transferring system bitcoin and the cryptocurrencies I mean bitcoin we also having the have agreement to uh, allow the concessions to every node when more than 50 percent of the node can allow the particular transaction then only that particular transaction has been processed otherwise that transaction will not be processed next one is called the leader selection and mutual exclusion this is also one of the example of disputed consensus. Why distributed consensus? So we need a consensus in uh, every single process. Whenever you have process any transaction, this consensus must be made from the all the nodes. What about when the, there is no two nodes are there? If there is two nodes only, the network or the partition fault consensus cannot be reached. If there is one is a <coughs> normal node and second one is your attacker node, so consensus cannot be reached because more than 50% of node must be agreed on that particular transactions. So fault there is maybe a, some fault is available in the distributed consciousness that is called the crash fault. Next one is called the network or the partition faults is there and there is bungentine faults is there bungentine fault means malicious behavior in a node is available if hardware fault is that is considered in a bungentine faults and next one is called the software error if there is some software is available that is also called the bungentine fault there is one example of the consciousness when there is a three processes are there so then there is process p1 and p2 and p3 there is three three processes there so each process is called uh, p1 p2 is 3 p3 there is having some decision set that is called the d1 is proceed b1 is proceed 
so there is undecided state proposed value of bi bi is more means vote you can vote the particular transaction the vi from the set d and communicated communication state is called the exchange value and decided state is called the set decision variant of di so there is a v1 vote process v1 is proceed from the uh, node p1 process p1 and there is p2 process can be b2 <coughs> if there is no concession has been met after the value of the particular processes then uh, the particular transaction has been about yani b3 has been aborted and p3 can be crashes requirement of the concession algorithms are there is termination agreement and integrity termination means eventually each correct process set its decision variable then only the that particular process terminated Second term is called the agreement. The decision value of all correct process is the same. Means every node must be having the same value for processing that particular decision. Next one is called the integrity. If the correct process all the proposed, the having the same value, then they, then any correct process in the decided state has chosen that particular value. When the process is proposed the same value then particular transaction has been processed then there is various type of fault in the distributed system is also there is called the crash fault cross fault means a node suddenly crashes or become unavailable in the middle of a common connection that is called the crash fault so if this is happened then there is a number of nodes are there so if one node is crashed in any um, through by the any reasons then only the transaction has been processed because if we having the more than one uh, more than 50% of the node is agreed on the particular transaction then that transaction will be proceed next one is called the network or partition fault and network fault occurs say the link failures and the network get partition if there is a multiple connections are there in the network and particular link has been failed then it may be a particular uh, network has been partitioned next one is called the bungentine failed fault bungentine fault may a node state behavior behaving maliciously it may be that particular node is uh, compromised by some attackers and their behavior is not and then their behavior will be a uh, maliciously so different algorithms is used in for this particular faults method like a crash and network fault Crash a network fault if there is some uh, misconnections, uh, connection will not be available. Uh, network disconnect from the unavailable from the network. So crash a network fault, we can use the algorithm like Paxos and RAFT raft. For the Bungentine fault, Bungentine fault means some uh, when the particular node is behavior like maliciously. So there is uh, including <clears throat> the crash other network failures also that is called the bungetine fault tolerance we can use that is called the vft algorithm or we can use the practical bungetine fault tolerance that is called the pbft algorithm so there is i am discussing here the one of the algorithm that is used for the crash and network fault that is called the paxos in Paxos, there is a number of proposers are there, number of acceptors are there, and number of learners are there. So there is what is the meaning of it? First, concession algorithm. Objective choosing a single value from the proposal and a class as the network fault. And system process means making a proposal, accepting a value, and handling the handling the failures. Proposal means there is proposed some value, means <coughs> they are execution of some uh, transaction. So proposal proposed value that should be chosen by the consensus. Consent me accepted can be concerned on a same value. Every acceptor can be agreed on the same value. Then only <clears throat> that particular uh, transaction has been processed. Acceptor form the consensus and accept values. They can be collecting or accept the values. Learner learn each which value was chosen by each acceptor. 
to whatever value is selecting by the acceptor that can be learned by the learn means there is a no, proposal prepare a proposal number there is proposal has proposal has been sent the pro prepare proposal to the acceptors there is a normal number of acceptors are there so proposal has been uh, sent the proposal to the acceptors so proposal number form a timeline biggest number considered to up to date <clears throat> so there is a consider the number there is proposal acceptor can accept the state as a uh, and uh, as we have uh, match in a previous uh, part is also there is some proposal has been sent and if proposal is agreed then send back to the applicant client and client if this proposal is accepted then that proposal will be executed acceptors decision making means acceptors accept the proposal value is less than the acceptor value currently having their currently accepted proposal value if there is yes then decline the uh, previous uh, accepted value is <coughs> otherwise if there is not less than then that value will be accepted means that each acceptor compare the received proposal number with the current known value for all proposers prepare a message if this comparison has been made there is not the same then that value has been declined if uh, that value is same then that particular value is accepted that is working of the acceptor acceptor message means prepare response accept or decline proposal accept values so there is maybe accept or decline whether prepare the accept or the decline that particular value proposal number biggest number the acceptor has seen that will be accepted accepted values already accepted values from the other proposals so that is called the accepted values so there is prepare response maybe accept or decline response has been made maybe the proposal number has been made or the there is a accepted values whatever the value is accepted that will send to the proposal accepting a value proposal decision making process there proposal can send a particular value majority of acceptor reject proposal <clears throat> if majority of acceptor reject the proposal it means yes update the latest proposal it's not if no reject the majority of uh, acceptors reject then majority of acceptor having the accepted values yes proposal value cannot be chosen if there is no accepted values are there then send accept message to the proposal it means <clears throat> this is basically a proposal decision making if proposal receive a response from the majority of acceptors before proceeding and then that proposal will be this proposal or the, that transaction will be executed otherwise that transaction will not be executed <coughs> as in the hyperledger fabric architecture we have uh, having uh, used the similar fashion in which a uh, client can be send their uh, proposal to the endorser if endorser can accept the application then they uh, send the ordering services ordering services can uh, order the transactions and execute accordingly if transaction has been executed properly then their response will be sent to the proposal endorser as well as the participant appears and that particular transaction can be committed that transaction if committed then that can be led added into the particular list then next one is uh, accepting a value accept the message can be sent proposal accept proposal has been sent accepted proposal number same as prepare phase value and that acceptor can be accept that particular value the next one is notifying to the learner if acceptor can uh, agreed on a particular value that value will be shared or notifying to the learner majority voting are the there acceptor values are there so that values can be sent to the learner each acceptor accept value from any of the proposal notify learner the majority voted value so basis of that <coughs> it is said the value so single proposal there means there is no rejection so proposal is one so every acceptor can accept that particular value and send same value to the learner so there is no rejection has been taken place
but if there is multiple number of proposal are there then every acceptor can accept any single value of from any proposal and each proposal acceptor can send that particular value to the learner if majority of uh, acceptor can accept a single value for that value must be agreed on by the learner like handling the failures is there acceptor failure is there like proposer can send the proposer to each acceptor if acceptor 3 is failed then two acceptor can be agreed on a single uh, on any value to so no issue uh, other acceptor can hear and proposal and vote so other acceptor can be do the same thing if one acceptor is failed out of three and next one is acceptor is a failure acceptor fail during the accept after accepting the again no issue other acceptor can vote for the proposal similar next one is called the handling failure acceptor failures means <clears throat> more than n by 2 minus 1 acceptor is fail if there is more than to no proposal get a reply so no one proposal can be accept as a blockchain system we know that if there must be a number of more than 50 percent of node must be accept a particular transaction then only that transaction has been proceed you know <clears throat> in particular blockchain otherwise that transition will not be proceed handling failures may proposal failures when proposal is failed to send a particular value proposal fails during the preparing phase then acceptor has to wait 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 until the some proposal can be sent the value so there is no wrong value has been considered <clears throat> next one accepting failures proposal fail during the accepting phase acceptors have already agreed upon whether to choose or not to choose the proposal so there is also there is not an issue like dueling proposal there is two proposal are there one to prepare proposal receive confirmation to her prepare message from the majority and they receive the message yet send to accept message to the proposal another proposal send a prepare a message with higher proposal number like uh, one proposal number is 10100 and second proposal number is 11201 to another proposal send a prepare message with higher proposal number so block the first proposals propose proposal for being accepted so there is accept the number is 10 and there is acceptor is accept 10 and next one is acceptor is 10 so that value has been de dealing the proposal this is called the lead use leader selection problem select one of the proposal as a leader and boxes can be used for the leader selection then only that process can be <clears throat> implemented only one proposal can be accepted as a leader then that proposal other that particular transaction must be executed first otherwise next one next is executed on the second part